companies not operating in the United States before 1982 are prohibited from carrying cargo beyond a 25-mile border crossing zone. The Bush administration's one-year pilot program will open up all U.S. highways to as many as 100 additional Mexican trucking companies. The long-term dream here is that someday all the trucks in America will be driven by people who work for less than the minimum wage in the United States of America and be exempt from it uh, because they would be uh, Mexican truck drivers based in Mexico and paid under Mexican law. Critics say Mexican trucks and their drivers are not required to meet the same safety, work rule, or drug testing standards demanded of American trucking companies. A Mexican driver could be on the road for 10 hours before coming to the border and then be allowed to drive another 10 hours in the United States. Congress has passed legislation that has slowed but failed to stop the Mexican truck program. Democrats and Republicans are united in protecting America's highways. Only the White House seems out of the loop here. The Transportation Department referred us to a former Bush administration official who helped negotiate the Mexican truck deal. This really isn't about Mexican trucks. This is about the perceived threat to union jobs. This is about the perceived threat to national security. And this is about people that have been opposed to NAFTA all along. The Bush administration is simply trying to live up to its international obligations. The program will not begin until the Transportation Department corrects any safety problems detailed in a soon-to-be-released report from its inspector general. Now, one interesting side note to that Teamsters protest at the border. According to other protesters who were there, union members were passing out flyers to Mexican truck drivers in an attempt to organize them. An international Teamsters spokeswoman says it has no plans to organize Mexican truck drivers, but it says one of its locals could be. Lou? This, this is almost completely, utterly surreal. The very <laughs> idea that the Bush administration, the Department of Transportation, is referring us as journalists to a former Bush official who negotiated the deal, which is the subject of just basically a Department of Transportation uh, directive. It has no basis in the agreement itself. Absolutely. Yeah, I was very curious that uh, the Department of Transportation didn't put out someone who was currently employed by the Department of Transportation to defend uh, this pilot program, but they didn't. Well, I love the spokesman saying, Casey, perceived threats to national security, perceived loss of jobs, uh, perceived safety standards without any... I mean, it, this, is, as I, I, this is just Alice in Wonderland time, uh, and it is remarkable. If this Congress sits still for this, I, you, you can just simply put a, you know, a, a tail on that particular donkey, uh, uh, not to overwork the metaphor, and I didn't mean the double entendre and symbolism there, but I mean, there, they, at some point, somebody besides uh, corporate America has got to uh, uh, start making policy in this country. And this administration certainly doesn't seem to have any interest in denying uh, the corporatists their due. Thank you very much, Casey. Casey Wyan from okay. Los Angeles. That brings us to the subject of our poll tonight. Do you believe the Bush administration is ignoring the will of Congress and the American people by allowing Mexican trucks to travel freely in the United States? Yes? No? Please cast your vote at lodobs.com. We'll have those results.